local lake breaking this is your first alert forecast well, it's been quite a few years since we've seen a wet winter 1993 97 was really the last one all thanks to el nino right Chuck? you got it it's been well over a decade since we've seen a super wet winter we hinted at this at six o'clock we're going in depth now and we're also going to talk about not only the upcoming winter but what this might do to the end of our monsoon so yeah. let's get into it shall we tonight we're talking about the newest update it is el nino and it's that time of the month the um, climate prediction center releases this update once a month and for the second consecutive month they are hinting at a significant chance for an el nino to develop we have trade winds that blow all the time normally i should say from east to west across the pacific those trade winds move the water from the coast of south america all the way over toward indonesia physically pushing that water all the time as it does that it takes the warm water that's at the top that the sun's working on pushes it away and allows cold water to come up from below keeping this area really cool ah but not in an el nino winter when we're in an el nino event the sun beats down on this because the trade winds disappear and the water's not moving it's just sitting there stagnantly and then that water gets warmer than normal warm water evaporates more quickly just like a kettle on the stove you turn the fire up it evaporates fast well when it's warmer than normal it evaporates quickly so in the winter months we get this the subtropical jet stream it goes right over that warm water grabs the moisture and slings it into the southwestern u.s california arizona new mexico colorado and utah very often in an el nino winter we'll see above normal rainfall and snow so the winter that's promising for us However, for the end of the monsoon, it looks like this may develop as early as July, the end of this month. If that happens, it could put the kibosh on our monsoon. Here's why. When an El Nino happens during the monsoon, our typical flow out of the tropics gets pushed off to the east, leaving us with a drier flow from the west. How about we sum it all up? I know it's a little bit complicated and a whole lot to absorb. This hints at a wetter than normal winter but it also hints at an abrupt and early end to the monsoon. If you want to read about this in five minutes or less, just go to TucsonNewsNow.com weather. There's a story there with all kinds of graphics for you. Tonight, tracking a couple